Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to calculate variance of a sample data set. So I'll share my computer screen with you. Find the variance and standard deviation of the sample data set. So solution. Uh, let me change the color of the ink. So is this. Find sample mean. Find sample mean x bar, which is sum of all the numbers divided by sample size. Sum of all numbers divided by sample size. Sample size. So in this case, it is 10 plus 60 plus 50 plus 30 plus 40 plus 20 to be divided by sample size is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is equal to 10. It's in your calculator. You do 10 plus 60, plus 50, 50, plus 30, plus 40, plus 20. And that is equal to 210, the sum divided by 6, which is 35. Okay. So, Second is find the square, find the deviation of each number from the mean. Deviation means difference, which is x minus x bar. So let's make a column of x, the numbers, then x bar, which is the sample mean, then x minus x bar, and finally x minus x bar square. So the first x is 10. x bar is 35. So 10 minus 35 is minus 25. So this is minus 25 square, which is minus 25 times minus 25, which is 625. Next number is 60. Mean is still 35. And let me write that carefully. Sixty and thirty-five. Sixty minus thirty-five is still twenty-five. Okay, and then we have twenty-five square. Twenty-five square, which will be also six hundred and twenty-five. Next number is fifty, and the mean is still thirty-five. Fifty minus thirty-five will be 15. So the square will be 15 square, which is 225. Next number is 30. The mean is 35. 30 minus 35 is minus 5. So we have minus 5 square, which is minus 5 times minus 5 
which is positive 25. The next number is 40. Mean is uh, 35. 40 minus 35 is positive 5. And 5 square is 25. The last number is 20. 20 minus 35 is minus 15 and minus 15 square is positive 225. Okay, the next we are going to find sum of x minus x bar square. So we will add all these numbers. <laughs> you notice this means sum. Okay, so we are adding 625 plus 625 plus 225 plus 25 plus 25 plus 225. And the total is 1750. Okay, now if I move this a little bit. Okay. So Okay. So variance sample variance I should write sample variance is given by s square is equal to sum of x minus x bar square divided by n minus 1. This is a point to note. It is n minus 1. Okay. So it is 1750 divided by our sample size is 6. So 6 minus 1. So 1750 divided by 5, which is equal to Three hundred and fifty. So variance is three hundred and fifty. Now standard deviation. The so standard deviation sample standard deviation. Is S is square root of variance. So it is square root of 350. How do I get the square root? I press the second button. And then I press the x square button, which will get the square root. Inside the square root, I hit 350 and enter. So S is equal to Eighteen point seven. Eighteen point uh, yeah, eighteen point seven zero eight. Hopefully it should be we take care of this eighteen point eighteen point seven zero eight. Okay. Did I do this problem correctly? We will check by putting the numbers in L1 in our calculator. So I'll first clear the memories of the calculator. Second button, then plus button on the top of enter on the bottom right of the calculator. Then select number four, which is clear all list. Hit enter, done, stat one. In L1, we will enter the numbers 10, 60, 50, 30, 40, and 20. Okay. Now we will press the stat button. Calc, by, we will highlight calc by moving the cursor on top of calc and then press number one, one where stats, list is L1. I calculate. 
my sample mean is 35. Okay, so I must uh, circle this as this is your X bar. Sample mean and sample standard deviation is 18.708. Notice there are two standard deviations given on the calculator screen. We are interested in the sample standard deviation. So SX is 18.708. Now, if we are to calculate the variance from the calculator, which does not come in this screen, we have to type 18.708 uh, x square. 18.708, type it in the calculator screen, then press the x square button, which is in the first column, so that you get exponent 2 on top of 18.708 and hit enter. And the variance will come out as actually. 350, okay? So either way you can do the problem. I show you how to use the formula and calculate it or you can use the calculator if you're more comfortable using the calculator. I will stop by today. So let me stop and summarize what I did. First, I found the sample mean by adding all the numbers, dividing by the sample size. Once I found the sample, mean I found the deviation of each number from the mean. The deviation is given by each number minus x bar. How far each number is located away from the mean, which is x minus x bar. Then I squared the deviations, added up all the squares of the deviation, some of the squares of the deviation of each number from the mean. I added all of them up, got the total of 1750. In order to calculate the sample variance, I will Add up all the squares and divide by sample size minus 1. Remember, that is important, sample size minus 1. So it will be 1750 divided by 5, not by 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. 350 is the sample variance. And then you take the square root of the variance to get the standard deviation as 18.708. If you want to see more problems of this type, please Subscribe to my channel on the bottom right corner by hitting the red subscribe button. You can do math and in this channel you will find all kinds of statistics problem. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. I will see you next time with another important problem and important solution. Don't miss it. Don't forget to miss it. So please uh, watch me for the next time when I'm back with another new problem, new solution. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.